Okay, what I'm doing today is continuing uh, with the test on the up singulation. It's had an ultraos regulator fitted. Uh, it is shooting about two foot two pounds under what it was before it was fitted. Uh, I fired the first uh, 28 shots through it the other day. The rifle's been standing, so we'll see if it's kept its ear. Uh, and now I'm going to do this shot string there and see if it drops off or if it stays consistent and then after that it will be a matter of uh, trying to increase the power what a lot of uh, manufacturers do now they tend to put anti tamper on so you can't adjust the uh, the ammo springs or we can get to the transfer port to uh, open them up. Uh, the other option I've got is to weaken the spring in the exhaust valve or turn the pressure up in the uh, regulator. So I'll have to go with uh, the weaker spring first I think and then I'll go with the regulator and uh, if they don't work it means uh, major surgery to try and get to the ammo spring or to the uh, transfer port so we'll see how that goes so the first shot of 14 I'm about to take uh, it's getting pretty late in the day now the light's low so I'm hoping the chronograph works okay we'll soon find out Nice pellets at that. On to the next string of 14. It's definitely underpowered, as you can see, at 509. Although, it looks pretty consistent, which is a good thing. 509 seems to come up quite a few times. that the regulator is working fantastic it's all within about three or four feet per second so far If I had 30 shots, because two of those have been empty, so start loading up again. Do the next 28. So I'm pretty pleased with that so far, even though it is below what it should be. If it was up in the 570s, I'd be happy because at Tinsley Park Shooting Club, we've got a range that goes out to 107 yards, and a nine foot pound rifle is not really going to cut the mustard at that distance. You should basically do a lot of bench rest here anyway. Now I did have a problem with the regulator when it came, it was too tight and luckily enough down at Tinsley Park we've got a good engineer, his name's Cliff Kirkman and he put the, uh, the regulator over his lathe and uh, slimmed it down a bit to fit. I really do appreciate that. Right, okay then here we go again. <laughs> Shots are starting to clear up now. I'm using uh, Daystate Range Master Sovereign, which is the most efficient pallet for the 
all the barrels we've got. Uh, that's including the Avia pellets. This is worth bearing in mind. It's not the weight, it's the pellet. Uh, so what you don't want is to test your, your rifle on a pellet that's not very consistent, thinking you're legal, then finding you're gone over the limit when you put a different pellet in. But I've not found a pellet that's more efficient than this yet. Yeah, rather than uh, just waste pellets with your crane around. At least I've got something to shoot at there. Which will rifle down to about 443 now. It's gone off the red. about an inch as well now, 25. So I'm aiming towards the top of the screen. Now what I did do, I took the other spinner frame aim, repaired it and painted it all, I forgot to bring up the other thing to it. So I will be back tomorrow. Two more pots of water. Nine five hoops up in. That's pellets. Okay, that's the end of the test for the accumulation.